Hey guys, Justin here with ExtremeTerrain.com and today we're taking a closer look at and installing the Icon Impact Off-Road Trail Series front bumper available for your 2021 and newer Bronco, excluding all Raptors. Now, you guys should be considering the Icon Trail Series for your rig if you're looking for a very high quality option that will deliver, I think, one of the cleaner appearances in the category uh, once everything's been installed, of course, along with some spots for auxiliary lighting all for right around that $1,300 to $1,400 price point. So getting into some of the features here with the Icon Trail Series, and first and foremost, again, I really like the very clean look. It's also gonna deliver a great fit, excellent approach angle, and then finally, some of those light mounting opportunities that we just talked about. Now, speaking of the light options here, guys, the Icon will support up to five three-inch cube lights or a single 20-inch LED light bar that will live behind the center section right here and is gonna be covered by that mesh portion, which is gonna hide the lighting, I think, enough to maintain that sleek look, but at the same time, it's not gonna to totally kill the light output during the day or night. Now, that mesh, by the way, also makes for some airflow on the lower portion here uh, to provide plenty of air, of course, to any factory or aftermarket intercoolers for your EcoBoost-powered Bronco. Now, the Trail Series does come pre-drilled for parking sensors, as you can see here with our option on the table today. A lot of factory Broncos do have these sensors, of course, but if you have more of a base Bronco and you do not have these sensors equipped on your rig, Icon does toss in some plugs to cover up the holes. Finally, guys, recovery points here are going to be incredibly solid as well. They're gonna feature a one inch thick mounting location, fully welded, and they will accept a 5 8 inch shackle and while not listed on features of the site here, guys, again, I have to come back to uh, saying I'm a big fan of the timeless shape or design of the Trail Series bumper. Really like the high clearance ends, the overall design of the bumper. Uh, those ends do line up nicely with the flares. And again, I know I said it a bunch of times, I'll say it one more time, just a very clean look, a very timeless look and something that I think really does uh, add up to a big feature. Um, I say that because a lot of aftermarket bumpers kind of look busy depending on which option you go with. There can be a little bit too much happening with the bumper as far as the design is concerned. Not the case here. Uh, definitely a less is more approach and something that I think is certainly a big thumbs up from Icon. Moving into construction and also looking at a very solid build here with the Icon. Your main material is gonna be the CNC laser cut precision brake form 3 16 inch plate steel, which is fully welded and then finished in, I would say kind of a semi-gloss black powder coat. Uh, the bumper itself is gonna weigh in right around 85 pounds and is backed by a limited lifetime warranty in case you run into any issues. Now, a couple things I do wanna point out here, guys, is that this bumper does not come with any skid plates. Also, guys, for trucks equipped with adaptive cruise control, you will need to pick up Icon's relocation kit from the site in order to keep that functioning properly. Otherwise, uh, it just simply will not function. So definitely check out the relocation kit if your Bronco is equipped. And again, you can grab that right here at XT. Now the Icon Trail Series front bumper is going to live in what I like to kind of call that middle high area of the price point spectrum. Uh, certainly gonna be a bit more than some of your more basic options, basic bumpers from companies like Barricade or Fishbone, but at the same time, it's not gonna be quite as expensive as some of the uh, category heavy hitters, if you will, such as your ADD Addictive Desert Designs, which typically round out the higher end of the price spectrum or even some options from ARB. So again, look for that middle to high end of the price point spectrum here. But again, you are getting a lot of good solid qualities out of this bumper, including that lifetime warranty, which is something to point out. All right, last but not least, let's move into the installation portion of our video. And the site's gonna call this a strong two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter and about three hours or so to complete from start to finish. Now I do say strong here because yes, the bumper is gonna be a bit heavy. Again, about 85 pounds, give or take, unloaded. Once you start slapping some light bars on this thing, probably can inch up closer to 100 pounds. So with that being said, never a bad idea to have a friend on hand when it comes time to lift this thing up into place. But to now give you a better idea of how this might go down in the driveway or garage, let's throw it out to the shop for our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown. For this install, you will need an impact, a ratchet, extension, T40 Torx bit, 13 and 15 millimeter shallow sockets, deep 15 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter swivel socket, 
clip removal tool, and needle nose pliers. Also not shown here is a floor jack and an extra set of hands. What's up guys, today we're gonna be installing a new front bumper on our Bronco, so let's get started. So the modular bumper is pretty straightforward to pull off. Um, you don't need to have it on a lift or a jack or anything, it's pretty easy. So to start things off, we're gonna come over here to our driver's side. We're gonna unplug our parking sensor harness. Now this is only if you have parking sensors. If not, you won't need to worry about that, but we do. So we're gonna go ahead and reach right through here to this plug that is at the bottom of our grill here. We're just gonna go ahead, get both hands in there, and we'll push down on our release for our plug, and we'll pop that out. Now that's free and clear, and we'll get that caught up on anything. So next we can go ahead and remove these covers for our mounting bolts for our bumper. So we're gonna grab our clip removal tool, and we're gonna pop out these plastic clips holding it in. Right out. Now you may need to take your clip removal tool and push in on the center of these clips just to release the inner latch there. Let's go ahead, pop all of these out. Once you have all those out, go ahead pop this cover off and set these aside and we can go ahead and do the same thing for the other side so once we have both of our covers off we have our mounting bolts here exposed. So we're gonna grab our 15 mil socket on our impact and run these off. Now you may wanna grab a buddy for this because this bumper is a little bit heavy. Just be aware before you take all of your hardware off, you don't want things to fall and anyone to get hurt. So you definitely wanna have an extra set of hands or like a jack or something to help you hold this up. So we'll leave that one in just a little bit to help support, and we'll go ahead and take the other side off. And we'll go ahead and slowly remove these last two bolts. Make sure our bumper stays resting on the mounting brackets behind it, then we can go ahead and remove it. So now that we have everything off, we'll go ahead and remove our bumper. So we have the new bumper behind us, but before we can install that, we're gonna have to go ahead and swap over our parking sensor harness to the new bumper. So we're gonna remove it from our factory bumper first. We're gonna start by removing these backing plates here. So we'll grab our 13 mil socket on our impact remove the four outer bolts and then our 10 mil for our little inner bolt there. Go ahead and remove our other one. So next we can go ahead and remove our upper brackets here. So we'll grab our T40 Torx bit and remove the screw, three screws up here up top, and then you will have a couple down on the bottom here as well.
Then we can go ahead and pop this bracket out. And you do want to be careful as your sensors are still plugged in. We can go ahead and pull our harness retainers out of the bracket. Some of these may be a little tough, so we'll go ahead and grab a clip removal tool to pop these hard to get ones out. You can go ahead and set these brackets aside. And once you have this one out, you can go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. And once we have that off, we'll remove our lower bracket. Now we can go ahead and remove our lower center bracket here. And again, it's two more T40 torque screws down bottom and then three more that are gonna be on the front. So we'll flip the bumper and get those. So we'll grab our T40 torque bit on our impact and go ahead and get these out. Flip our bumper over. Now we can access our harness from the bottom here. Now we'll again grab our clip removal tool and pop our three retainers off of this bracket. Go ahead and set that aside. So we're gonna leave our sensors plugged into our harness here and our harness is gonna go over in the same orientation that it came out of this factory one. So to remove our sensors, they simply have these ears on the retainers. You can just push those out and kind of pop one side out and then push the other side. And go ahead and remove the sensor. Now you do wanna be careful with these. You don't wanna break them because they are a bit costly to replace. So we'll go ahead and do that for all four. Pop one ear, kind of get it started. Pop the other ear. Go ahead and work that out. And you may have one or two more retainers for your harness along the way. We'll get those after our sensors are all out. Get our last two retainers off here. Again, with our clip removal tool. We have those out. Retainers down at the bottom here. We'll go ahead and grab our needle nose pliers. It's much easier to get to them with these. those out. Go ahead and remove our harness and keep it in the same orientation as it comes out of this for our new one. So now we can go ahead and begin prepping our new bumper. So we're going to grab our parking sensor brackets. We're going to go ahead and slide those into place and lock those in their little tabs. Then we're going to take our retainer screw here on the back side. Go ahead and screw that on. And that'll secure our brackets into place. So we're going to do that for the other three and then we can prep our sensor harness for going in.
Now we've got our parking sensor harness. We're gonna get that installed onto our new bumper. So we're gonna feed this behind our mounting bracket here. We can go ahead and just as they came out of the factory brackets with the ears, these are the same style, so they're just gonna slide right in like so. You can do that to both of them on both sides. Now this, these inner ones are tough to see because they are directly behind the mounting bracket. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing. and feed our driver's side through here with the harness connector as well as the sensors going through. Again, we can get our sensors installed. Now we can install our provided sensor retainers. So those are gonna go directly onto the ears of your bracket for your sensor. Seat those properly. And they're gonna hold your sensor in place. And then we'll do the same thing for the other three sensors. So because of the taper of this bumper, you will be seeing your crash bars. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those now. So we're gonna grab our 15 mil socket on our ratchet and pop off our two bolts, pull this out, and then we'll do the same thing for the other side. So your kit does come with some stick-on zip tie mounts as well as a few zip ties to help clean up your harness. You can use those or feel free to clean it up however you'd like. Uh, this is just a very convenient option that comes with your kit. So before we can install our new bumper, we're gonna need to go ahead and remove our factory nut plates back here behind our mounting bracket. And it's hard to see, but they have two little plastic hand screws holding them in place. So we'll go ahead and unscrew those And this is what they will look like. So you just unscrew them from the back side, and then your nut plate will be able to come off. Now that we have both of them off, we can go ahead and slide our nut plate back. Go ahead and get that out. Then we'll do the same thing for the other side. So now we're ready to get our bumper installed. So we've got a floor jack down to help us hold our bumper in place as well as an extra set of hands to kind of steady things while I go ahead and install our factory hardware back onto the bumper. So in order to access our hardware, we're gonna to need to remove our lower skid plate which is these four 15 millimeter bolts holding, holding it on. So we'll grab our 15 mil socket on our impact and go ahead and remove the skid plate.
And now we can go ahead and get our two inner 15 millimeter bolts into place here. Now once we have those in, we can go ahead and grab our 15 millimeter swivel socket and extension on our ratchet. Go ahead and tighten these down. And now we can do our final outer bolt here. So now we can go ahead and reinstall our skid plate. So we'll get our two rear mounting bolts here loosely installed. We'll go ahead, grab our plate. to our mounting hardware like so. Then we'll get our front hardware in place. Now we'll go ahead and get our final 15 millimeter bolt back in place. We'll grab our 15 mil socket on our impact and tighten these down. So now we can go ahead and plug our parking sensor harness back in. We'll grab our connectors here. Get that plug gate back in. Go ahead and tuck our harness up out of the way. Alrighty guys, that about wraps up our review and install of our Icon Impact Off-Road Armor Trail Series front bumper for your 21 to current Bronco, excluding the Raptor. Thanks for watching, and as always, for everything Bronco, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.